It's a nonsensical position that we are in when we have domestic supplies of energy all over this great land. And East Coast politicians who don't allow energy producing states like Alaska to produce these, to tap into them. She did a good job in the debate against Senator Biden. I think she more than held her own. The contemporaneous accounts of that debate that night you know, by all the pundits, by all of the experts, is that Sarah Palin won the debate. And I think she did a great job. In the debate prep, she kept calling Joe Biden, uh, O Biden. She did, she did. Over and over again. It was a verbal tick and it was subconscious. But when you're engaged in a debate prep on the vice presidential level, and you know, you had gone through the Tina Fey parodies, you had gone through this Katie Couric interview, yeah, you, you certainly cannot be in a position where you walk out onto the stage and, you know, refer to him repeatedly on national television as Senator O'Biden. It would have just been, you know, devastating beyond words. So how'd you get around that? Somebody came up with the idea. It was really, it was multiple people, and I wasn't one of them, who all said at the same time, just say, can I call you Joe? Which she, which she did. And that's a memorable line from that debate at the beginning. Nice to meet you. Hey, can I call you Joe? You can okay, call me. So the can I call you Joe, which people at the time thought was some sort of strategy, was really just a way for her to be able to say his name without messing it up. Correct. Absolutely.